Okay, there's a video about delidding your CPU. Um, why you do that will be covered at the end. Uh, this is the stuff that you'll need, first of all. You'll need the processor. This is an i7-8700K, uh, 1151. You'll need a uh, product from Thermal Grizzly, which is Conductor Nought. It's ultra high performance liquid metal compound. You'll need a deleting tool. I've chosen uh, the eight hour. That's how you pronounce it in that little box there, which we'll look at in a minute. And you'll need some form of glue to put the uh, lid back on. Um, I'm using Yuhu Silicon. Uh, the writing's all in German. It's quite hard to get in the UK. Um, so it's quite a specialist compound. It's high temperature glue, which is um, almost what Intel use. So that's the kind of thing we need. So um, yeah, let's have a look at what you get in each box. Now in the processor box, just break the seal. It's a brand new CPU. Take this one out because uh, it's the K model. There's a little thing you get the sticker as well. Because it's the K model, you don't get the um, heat sink with it. So that's worth remembering when you buy it. But if you're buying a K model, you know that already. So there's the actual processor itself. And in the conductor naught bag, we'll just tear that open. We'll see what we get in here. It's a resealable bag. So we get, I'm not sure what that is, alcohol pads. So that's obviously for cleaning. You get uh, a big warning. You don't use that on aluminium heat sinks. You get applying it guide. Do we get that's that empty? We get two little, um, they're sort of cotton buddy, but they're not as fibrous as cotton buds. You get a little tiny needle, you get the compound itself. This is quite a small amount in this one, and you get another uh, a little lid slash. It's not a lid, is it? I think that's another sort of applicator thing. So you've got all these little bits in there. So it's quite nice in terms of little bits and bobs. So we move all the packaging out of the way. We put that on there. In the deleting tool, you get that. It's a very nice little box. Allen key. And that's all you get in there. And do that, that comes off. So there's the tool itself. So one, two, three, four, five pieces to that. And in the Yuhu, you get a little nozzly thing to fit on the bottom for, for getting the stuff out. And you get a, a nozzle as well, so you can cut the tip off that, make a finer point. Oh, dropped it. Let's get that back. So we've unpacked everything. So what we'll do now is we'll get ready to um, use it. All right, so this is uh, step one where we take the um, CPU lid off. So we'll get the CPU and we pop it into the tool like that. And there's an arrow there and you match the arrow up. Then you get the little slidey thing and just pop it on there. And then very carefully screw that in. And now the bit that's a bit alarming and scary. So now it's in. We just twist that, 
we keep twisting it. And that's moved. It didn't snap. Sometimes it sort of clicks. So we take that off. And there's the processor. And the lid should just come off like that. And there's the processor. There's the die. And that's the actual processor itself there. And that's its lid. That's quite a weighty uh, thing. So we've taken the lid off. Now the next stage is to get rid of all of the thermal paste that Intel put on and get rid of the glue around the outside. To do that, I'm just gonna use a little bit of plastic uh, if you've got Araldite, you can use the plastic spreader, the mixer that comes with it. Um, I wouldn't use a knife for obvious reasons, but something plastic. You can cut up an old credit card. You could use your fingernail if you don't want your fingernails to be um, clean. Um, so uh, with the, the actual thermal compound that Intel put on the actual die, we'll um, remember the stuff comes with little pads, but there's also tin cleaner you can get as well. Um, so I'm not going to show that because that's quite tedious. So um, I'll clean it all off and then we'll do the next stage when it's all clean. Right, the uh, CPU and its lid are clean. A couple of tips. Um, I was planning on using an Araldite spreader mixer but in the end the box the CPU came in was actually quite helpful so you don't need to find anything particularly special just use that and just scrape the glue and uh, from the lid and any residue from the CPU I use some tin cleaner um, as a tip this is actually um, citrus based so essentially it's lemon juice. So you could, I suppose, use lemon juice. Um, that's actually quite old stuff. Um, any other tips? Yeah, I did it with it in the removal tool so that I didn't damage any of the delicate circuitry on the back of it. But um, apart from that, it was fairly straightforward. So the next stage is to put some of the liquid metal on and we don't need very much so it's got a little a little nozzly bit so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out onto the die and pull it out so it doesn't squirt like that and now I'm going to use the little things that came with it oh. Thing, just to spread it about a bit. Now some people put tape on it, but I haven't bothered. I'll just dab it about. So you want a nice even coating of it. Doesn't matter if it goes over the edge a little bit. There used to be some components on this top surface, but this particular i7 doesn't appear to have any. So that's that's looking pretty good. So you need a tiny amount. All you've got to do is make sure that it's spread about. I think if you use a cotton bud for this, cotton buds are a bit more absorbent than what they supply with it. So you don't necessarily need to use... I mean, you get two with it. You can buy more, but if you look at... I've just put a bit on there. 
and it hasn't really hasn't really affected the but much so at the worst case scenario you can do four CPUs because you've got two sticks provided you clean with something else everything's fine isn't it so that's that bit done I'll just give that bit more of a tickle up and then we'll go on to the next stage okay so back again and what we've got here is I've put the liquid metal on the die I've put some on the lid I did tape it this time that was easier to get the rectangle shape I've just applied some of the glue to the edges I'm just going to spread it around a little bit so that it's um, even I don't think you need to be particularly um, particularly careful I'll get a little bit more I think it's important that it goes in the corners. It's not the best glue spreading I've ever seen. Cotton buds are a bit naff, I think. Really. I don't want to use the ones that came with it because they're rather nice. So next stage is to put that in there. Now, first of all, on the CPU, you've got the two notches to indicate how it goes in the socket. That's the top of the CPU. And with the top, the writing faces downwards. Just clearing the residue from the edges. This is downwards. So that means it's going to be like this. Now, just check that there isn't any stuff near those connectors there. I think I'm well I think I'm okay but I'm just going to double check that's slap bang in the middle isn't it yeah I think we're going to be okay so that's I might just remove that little bit from the corner down there so that's that and then you just drop that in there like that clean my fingers a bit and you get the other part of the tool which is this turny thing here and then you slide that over it's on the center of the processor and then very gently just tighten it up it doesn't need to be tightened too tightly because you're just holding it on all the glue sets so it's just finger tight and that's lined it up so now I can lift that out and put it on one side and then wait while the glue sets. And that essentially is it. So assuming I haven't spread the stuff too thickly, that should be all ready to go once the glue is set. So that's how you do it. Um, it's infinitely easier if you've got all the bits. So if you try and fudge it, it doesn't work. If you're using cotton buds to spread the stuff, they don't work as well as the ones that came with it. If you're using um, tissue to clean it, you need, need the cleaner. Remember, the stuff does come with two pads anyway. Um, for the glue, you can use super glue if you want. Um, but the best stuff is going to be high temperature silicon stuff if you can get hold of it. You don't need to put very much of that on. Um, for the edge of the lid, I did run a knife around the edge to get the stuff out of the little groove it's got on it. Um, and that's uh, any other considerations. I think I've mentioned a few other bits and bobs. Um, but I think that's, that's probably about it. There's a relatively straightforward process if you've got the tools. So make sure you've got the tools. Um, next bit will be why you do it. Um, so um, thanks. So the processor is uh, in the motherboard. It's fitted in its socket and it's got its cooler on. 
just for um, the record, this is an NZXT Kraken X62, which is a 280 millimeter radiator uh, all in one water cooling system with 240 millimeter fans. It's mounted in the top of the case. Um, it would have been nicer to have mounted it at the front, but uh, this 450D case doesn't let you really do that because the highest point in the cooling loop is the pump and so any air that's in there will automatically end up in the pump and make a massive noise uh, and the pipes aren't long enough for it to be mounted so the pipes are at the bottom at the front of the case so that's why it is where it is um, but I digress not really a problem the main thing we're looking at is um, what I'm about to show you and that is uh, prime 95 going absolutely berserk on all 12 cores that's 6 physical and 12 without threading and look at the temperature yeah so 60 or thereabouts it's an average uh, ambient temperature when idling 28 uh, current temperature is actually 40, 50, so it's peaked just over 60. Hmm. Do Intel use toothpaste? Is that what they put on there? Because um, that's like 30 degrees less than you typically get with an i7 8700K, which notoriously runs hot anyway. Um, so I'm going to be deleting every single CPU that I get from now on because that's a massive difference in temperatures. And this has been running for three hours and it's quite a warm day. And yes, it is an open case. Um, and yes, the um, you might have noticed that the graphics card that's in there isn't exactly the world's most powerful. It's possibly called um, 210. Just put, I'll put that in for testing really. Uh, so um, still, um, it, that's, that's, um, that's worth doing, isn't it? But you need to have the bits, you need to have the right tools. And here's a little secret just to fill you with confidence. The one you saw in the video was the first time I've done it. Yeah. So um, hopefully that will give you a bit of confidence to try it yourself. This has worked a treat. And I think it is quite difficult to break the CPU uh, if you follow the instructions carefully and you've got the right tools. I don't think you need the um, high temperature silicon glue, uh, although that is a better job. Um, the liquid metal kit comes with everything you need. Uh, the deleting tool is absolutely flawless. It, it's, it, you couldn't design it better. It works a treat. Very low um, levels of stress involved in that, although you do have to apply a bit of force. Um, so with the right tools, you can do this uh, and you should. Um, it does invalidate the warranty though on your CPU, obviously, but um, when was the last time you returned a CPU because it was faulty? Because I've never returned a faulty CPU. I've returned other stuff that's broken, but never a CPU. So CPU warranties are great, and warranties are great generally, but you can take the risk with this, I think. Um, if uh, I've helped you um, with the confidence or just with a video that's easy to follow or one that you like watching, then please like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. If uh, you have any questions, then obviously put them in the comments and, um, and I'll answer them. So um, yes, go get deleting. It's um, the best thing I've done to my CPU. So um, great. Thanks ever so much and um, see you next video.